you're going to love it here. There are sheep and cows and horses and lots of big open spaces to run around in. Look, Harriet dear, I know I'm not your mother and it's all going to take some getting used to. But trust me, it will all be splendid. How far along are you? About eight months now. And your husband? Oh, away. No. He's fighting in the world. Has he been there long? Around a year now? You should be very proud of him. Sorry? Your husband? You should be very proud of him. Well, I am. And what about you? Is your man fighting in the front? He was. He died. I'm sorry to hear that. But how are you coping? Well, um, you know. Harry, if Daddy doesn't come back, what will we? He'll come back then, you promise. But Mummy said to expect the work. Annie. But remember when you said that Freddie was going to come back? He never did. Oh, Harry, I'm sorry, I went too far. No, no, you're right. You've got to stay positive, okay? So where's he posted now? Well, originally he was based out in Pinvo, but he's now been moved down to Don Pierre as a general. Don Pierre. Yes. Why? And you say he's a general there? Yes, but why? That's where Father's posted, but he's missing. Yeah. Maybe you could ask him to write to Father. Annie. His name is Lieutenant Jonathan Richmond, 218, based out in Don Pier. Annie, we can't bother this lady or her husband. I'm sure they're looking for him right now. I'll tell you what. I'm just about to be posted out from Dover to help with the casualties in Remy. Well, that's right next to... Right next to Don Pier. Yeah. Yes. When I'm over there, I'll ask around for Lieutenant Richmond. And I'll write to this lady looking after you if I hear any news. Now, does that sound like a plan? I'm not promising I'll get an answer, but I'll certainly try. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, I told you things would get better. <laughs> things are hardly much better. Last I heard, we're not gaining land nor losing it. Well, stalemate is better than losing land. Yes, but we're making no progress. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but could you please not mention such topics in front of the children? Are you a mother, Mrs... Farron? Are you a mother, Mrs Farron? No. So you have no previous experience with children? Well, I used to help out at the creche in the local church. But you are not a mother. As a mother, you have a duty to be honest and truthful to your children. It is much better they learn these things from you, rather than hear it off the street. I think that's quite enough, thank you. You may be able to use that brush forward language in order to recruit soldiers. But Mrs. Fryan does not deserve a lecture from you about how she should raise these girls. She merely asked you to not talk about such morbid news in front of the children. And quite frankly, I think she's right. Has it got a name yet? I'm sorry, dear. For the baby. Oh, um, I was thinking for a girl, Elsie, and for a boy, Joseph. There was a boy in my class called Joseph. Oh, really? But he was not great. Oh, it was... Maybe not Joseph, then. I've always really liked the name Freddy. Yes, Freddy's much better. Freddy would be a boy who's nice, kind and understanding. Well, if it is a Freddy, maybe it turns out to be exactly like that. It shouldn't be long now. Where exactly are you headed? To my mother's. It's much better than staying in London. All the bullets and I'm hoping to get a job at the local school once the baby's born. And we'll start again. In the countryside. The country I'll be much better than a baby. Don't you think, Harriet? Oh, what? Yes, I suppose so. I'm surprised they evacuated you. How old are you? Sixteen. Okay, be funny. She'll be working with me for a little bit, just until we get a place at the school, and then she'll be enrolled locally. And what school is this? Atkrys Comprehensive. Atkrys? That tiny little village has a comprehensive? Yes, it's connected to the junior and nursery schools. It's not big, but it's sufficient enough to cater our needs. 
here we are girls, you're going to love it. <laughs> 